Hello and welcome to Hidden History. In this episode, we are going to discuss the Golden Ratio, which is also known as phi. The Golden Ratio is a mathematical measurement, and when you take a line and divide it into two parts, a long part A and a short part B, the entire length A plus B divided by A is equal to A divided by B. A very simplified version of this is showing the ratio of one to one, and the Golden Ratio will be a little more than half being 1 to 1.6. When architecture is built to this ratio it will reflect perfect symmetry and beauty which is uniquely found in nature. All old world architecture is built to this design and measurement with perfect symmetry and when this mathematical measurement is put into the design it will improve your well-being to when you are inside these buildings. The golden ratio was first discovered by the ancient Greek mathematician Euclid, who called it the division, appearing around 300 BC. But this ratio was also known to an Indian mathematician known as Pingala and his Sanskrit poetry from around 200 BC. This has been a mathematical equation used throughout all ancient history and old world architecture. In the 1200s, Leonardo Fibonacci created the Fibonacci sequence, which is the golden ratio laid out into a series of numbers where each number is the sum of the two preceding numbers. Leonardo Fibonacci was only teaching what he learned after his travels to the Middle East and North Africa, while Leonardo travelled as a merchant. The Fibonacci sequence was a development from the golden ratio and a simple way of creating this formula is taking the last two numbers. So 0 plus 1 equals 1, 1 plus 1 equals 2, 1 plus 2 equals 3, 2 plus 3 equals 5 and so on. This sequence will remain consistent as the number is the ratio of 1 to 1.6. After Fibonacci, the golden ratio gained significance from the Italian Renaissance mathematician Luca Pacioli, who wrote a book called The Divine Proportion in 1509 that discussed phi and the golden ratio. Pacioli used drawings made by Leonardo da Vinci, and da Vinci called it the golden section. Then the late 1800s, American mathematician Mark Barr used the Greek letter phi to represent this number. The golden ratio has been used throughout history to construct the pyramids of Giza, the Pantheon, the Notre Dame Cathedral and the Taj Mahal and exists all throughout nature within the honeybees family tree and how they inherit DNA within the inside center of sunflower seeds. Sunflowers are arranged in spirals that follow the Fibonacci numbers. Pine cones are similar to sunflowers. When you count the spirals going in one direction, they calculate the Fibonacci sequence or the golden ratio. Flower petals will sometimes contain the golden ratio with their 360 degrees in a circle. If we divide a circle into 137.5 pieces and 222.5 pieces, the ratio between the longer arc and the shorter arc is about the same as the golden ratio. The exact angle measuring 137 degrees is called the golden angle. Nautilus shells can sometimes be perfect examples of the golden ratio in nature. This is just some of the examples of the golden ratio, but this is also in the human body, in the face, hands, arms, fingers. It even extends throughout our DNA. In the structure of the DNA molecule, each complete cycle of its double helix spans 34 anstroms, representing its helical length and 21 anstroms in width, representing its diameter. These numbers follow the Fibonacci sequence, and when 34 is divided by 21, it results in the divine proportion. The golden ratio is set perfectly within nature, so nature can flourish. 
plants will adapt to this golden ratio so that when rain falls, the perfect amount of rainwater will get to the roots of that plant. But not only in plants, this golden ratio is found within storms and weather systems on planet Earth, tornadoes, hurricanes. You will always find this sequence of numbers. Also in waves and the seas through our landscapes on planet Earth, every living being will have the set of numbers. But this extends much further as we see this pattern in space in the Milky Way, the planets, star systems and all throughout our universe. The whole of the human body is the symphony of the golden ratio. It is necessary for the human brain, the neural system, sense organs, with this ratio even forming a heartbeat. It is the sacred geometry to our planet. There is even a mention of the golden ratio in the ancient biblical text. It is also believed that the ancient Greeks used the golden ratio to achieve acoustics with many instruments designed using this ratio. On a piano with the black to white keys, this is by no mistake that these are built to the golden ratio. That's because the musical scales and notes align with the Fibonacci sequence or the golden ratio. So many artists, mathematicians, architects have been incorporating the golden ratio in their work for centuries and use this ratio to create visually balanced and aesthetically pleasing compositions that resonate through human perception. When we look at Victor Scharberger's work, who designed his work particularly in biomimicry and designing nature-inspired systems like his golden egg device, this is closely tied to the principles embodied by the golden ratio. The golden egg refers to his idea that the avoid shape exemplified by an egg spontaneously generates vortex motion and its natural design and principles that promotes efficiency and life. This isn't by chance that this golden ratio exists and not just by coincidence. It is displaying how everything is interconnected within our universe. It's a divine matrix of code that creates this reality. So from understanding this sequence of numbers, we can design our reality so they are completely in tune with the right frequency to who we are. There was once a time when all of planet Earth was in balance, harmony. But the further we have gone from this ancient knowledge, so has our architecture, community spaces, human productivity, to where in the modern age, people are more disconnected from one another than ever. We have only forgotten to remember, but we can now begin to remember and by understanding this golden ratio and applying it to our own lives, we can manifest the reality we desire, bringing yourself into perfect alignment to who you are. Thank you for watching everybody. Please subscribe if you haven't already and you can also join the member section. See you in the next video.